Well, it's finally here. Welcome to Charlotte Motors Speedway. The Beast of the Southeast. For the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series All-Star Race. Where there is no points, just a million dollars on the line. As you can see here, the drivers are lined up. Um, the first um, the first drivers that are starting in the front row are by the point standings that are from Dover about in the summer last year. Back here, Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman started in the back of the field. They advanced to the All-Star Race a month ago or two. And since they're now in the All-Star Race of competing for the million here, they might have a chance to come back because they hadn't won in so long. Newman hadn't won since Season 1 and Johnson here hasn't won since Season 2. Carl Edwards, back in the Cheez-Its colors, the, paint, the same paint scheme that he won at Phoenix. And, <clears throat> about the fan vote, I'm going to pop that up in a bit, right about now. There's some, there's more things I need to go over with you guys before we get to the green flag tonight. So, as you can see here, both Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon are tied. So... I'm going to break the tie right now, right here, to see who really won the vote. And I'm going to, and I'm going to do it by closing my eyes, and this includes me putting down this iPad so you guys won't see who the winner is while I'm randomly picking, uh, you see how it is, you see how it is, so I've got... Jimmy Johnson's 2002 Lowe's, which was his rookie year, picked up three wins that year and won the pole in the Daytona 500 that year as well. Got his first win at California, which is now Auto Club, and swept both Dover races too. And this man right here, Jeff Gordon, also had three wins in the season at Kansas, the Darlington, and Bristol. Who can ever forget that bump and run um, that night what he did to Rusty Wallace to win that race? So, I'm going to put down this iPad right now. I'm going to get um, your first look at these cars that I've got. Um, this car I've got on my birthday this year. And this car I've got, um, oh, lordy. I've got this one. If my memory is correct, September. Yeah, September. So, I'm going to give you guys your first look at these cars. That, yes, will be raced in my series. And if you guys ask that Jeff Gordon is going to race this car at Darlington when the Cup Series come by there, the answer is no. Along with Jimmy Johnson here, well, Jack and Allison Jimmy are thinking about it, but we'll just see when we get to Darlington, you know? It is the official throwback weekend of NASCAR, after all. Okay, I'm gonna put it down right now, close my eyes, put this to the side. Okay, I've got it. Survey says the fan vote winner for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series All Stars and the All Star driver throughout the entire season of Season Four is D -d 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 Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson is your winner of the NASCAR Spring Cup Series fan vote. He is the sprint. He is the NASCAR Spring Cup Series All Star driver. Throughout the entire season of season four, and look out because we know what he can do here at hit at this track when the sun goes down. And I've lost count on how many wins he's had at this track because he's been successful when um this track had um the name of Rose Motor Speedway. And to this day, when they change it back to Charlotte, he still runs yeah here and there, getting um wins here and there as well. 
But can he win the All-Star Race tonight and make a huge comeback? We are about to find out. Because, again, he starts at the back of the field in 13th place. Can he work his way up to the front? NASCAR fan 77 is in a Ford chassis in the 32 ride. This paint scheme may look familiar to you as Terry Labonte, NASCAR Hall of Famer, if not the future NASCAR Hall of Famer. He drove this car at Talladega in the fall of 2014 in his final race. Sadly, um, if my memory is correct, crashed out in the closing laps. Or in the middle of the race. And Taylor also won this event in 1999 and 1988. Which is why NASCAR fan 77 is paint saluting him in this special paint scheme. It's going to be um, the Iceman or should we say the Iron Man in this race. To remember him winning this event two times. 88 and 99. Dale Jr. back in the Batman colors. That are like California. <laughs> I almost said Daniel Suarez, but Kyle Bush is in the 18 A list Toyota. <clears throat> Toyota. For tonight's race. This will be the one and only time A list will be on his car in the Cup Series. This will be the one and only time. This will be the one and only race that. Ayers will sponsor Kyle Bush. He will not wait sponsor Ayers in any other races but this race. Jeff Gordon back in the Exalta colors, the same colors that he raced at Vegas, and got a third place at there. Tony Stewart, 2009 winner in a Rush Truck Centers, who had two, two wins currently, currently two wins this season at. Auto Club and Texas. This car, this same paint scheme we want at Texas. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So, that's all your pre race news you need to know for this wild, for this wild night. So, why don't I get straight to the rules of the race? So, <laughs> it's been a year since I've last edited it, um, since I've edited this, this to my notes. I cannot believe it's been a year. One year later, here it is. My wish and yours have come true. As the green flag is about to be out in a few moments, so... The All-Star Race is, to is a total of 22 laps. Four segments. Segment 1 is a is a 10 lap dash. Segment 2 and three or five lap dashes. Segment four, it's a two lap dash. Laps one, segment one is laps one to ten. Segment two is lap ten to fifteen. The third segment is lap fifteen to twenty. And the fourth and final segment is lap twenty to twenty two. And drivers must make a scheduled pit stop on in the first segment. And this is optional. The drivers are allowed to make a pit stop under caution when each segment is complete. Okay, so I got my friend on here that's calling me, um, Desha Deshaun1518. I'm going to interview him real quick before we get this race underway, so, um, you, so do you think, um, since Jimmy Johnson won the fan vote, do you think he has a shot to come back? I don't know. I mean, he may. I don't know. Okay. Uh, do you think? Um, do you think um, any other? Do you think any of these drivers who currently has no wins, such as um, Denny Hamlin or um, or Ryan Newman, for example, do you think they might come back? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, just gotta see.
Deshaun, Deshaun, 1518, thank you for your time. And about Denny Hamlin, folks. Um, ugh. so, Logan2448, you actually, yeah, yeah, in fact, you actually betrayed me in the summer last year, so this is what you get, so, bye, Hamlin, see you in the next all stories. But yeah, even in the next race, that is if he does qualify for the next race. But anyway, Dana Hamlin is out of it. I made a mistake to put him in the starting grid, so um, sorry for the inconvenience. You will not be seeing him winning the All-Star race because he wasn't even in the, the fan vote and didn't even win a single race this season. Now the real question is, will Dana Hamlin ever go back to victory lane? It's been two years February or January 2015, in the duels at Daytona, Hamlin went to victory lane. In the Cup Series, that is, so... I'm gonna put him back there where I found him on my shelf, so... Here's the pace car. This car will be also be used for the Indianapolis 500, which will be coming up, which will be coming soon on this channel. And no, I still don't have any cars back there. I don't even want any cars. Um, you'll see when I post out the Indy 500 sign-up series. You'll see how it is. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Let's get right into the words that we really love, shall we? Yeah, let's shout. Gentlemen, start your engines! Special thanks to the inaugural winner of the, of the event, Dale Walchip who won this event in the year of 1985. Friends and fans, the starting grid for the All-Star Race and NASCAR Spring Cup Series for a million dollars. The first row, we have Jeff Gordon as your poster and Tony Stewart. The second row has NASCAR fans 77 and Dale Earnhardt Jr., the 2000 winner. The third row has Kyle Busch, the 2017 winner in real life, and Michael Walchett. The fourth row has Brad Kozlowski and the Rusty Wallace Retro and Trevor Bain. Row 5, we have David Starr and Ryan Reed, who had won since Daytona in the beginning of the season. The next row, we have Jimmy Johnson and Carl Edwards. And rounding out the field is Ryan Newman, the 2002 winner. Friends and fans, there's your field for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series All-Star Race. DW, we're at the beast of the southeast. There's the green flag. Thanks, Dale Watch, for getting out the command. And those famous words we love to hear, Jeff Gordon, we 